How's it going, YouTube? Chris here at my home theater. Got a brand new video for you this afternoon. But just want to give everybody a little update on the theater. Hadn't, uh, <laughs> hadn't been doing a whole lot. Just steady working, and I had planned on taking my screen down, and I will show everybody what it looks like. I intend on taking it down, taking it back apart, see if I can get these uh, wrinkles out. But something came up, so I made a little road trip. So I'm gonna turn this camera around and show y'all what I got on my little road trip. So there we go. I replaced those Cherry RTI 8s for a set of black RTI 9s. Now, this is the guy I mentioned in the other video that he was wanting so much for the speakers. <coughs> well, we finally talked and talked and talked and I finally talked him down some and uh, we kind of met in the middle and I am not disappointed. So now on my front stage area, I have five RTI A9s. I got three on the LCR and I've got these two on my front wides. Now, of course they sit in back, but it is what it is. They still work, they still do good. And uh, so I really like them. So it's a panning in the screen in the background. Um, there you can see what's going on. I am trying, I'm going to uh, turn this thing to uh, something else. And the reason being, <coughs> I've got Batman playing and I don't want to get hit with a copyright by Warner Brothers. So just bear with me and I'll get something else on and we'll talk about the screen. So I'll just let that play. I'll be watching that tonight, The Last of Us. So this is what I've got. As you can see the wrinkles in there and then you got, I got wrinkles up here. It just, it looks, it looks awful. I don't, I pulled the screen tight, but it has not come out. So I have got to take this screen back apart. I got to take this bezel off here all the way around. And I've got to see if I can pull this material back. The springs just apparently just didn't pull it tight enough. So I've got to try to get that out. I was going to do that today, but to me it was important. And I go get these speakers right here because, I mean, guys, turn it off and you can't see it. You know, you can't, you can't see anything. So it's not affecting the picture quality per se when something's playing. But when you turn it on, it just looks like mess. So definitely got to take this back down. Got to touch up my walls or scratch my walls. I just got sitting on the box and then behind there is my original screen. It is still up. So I just kind of propped it up and moved the projector around to get it where it's uh <coughs> it's uh showing the picture. So I've been doing a lot of testing on it and uh I'm real happy with the screen. I just I just gotta get these wrinkles out. So once I do that I can take my other screen down and one of my buddies you know, we're gonna do some trading. So that's uh so that's what we're gonna do. Now tell you something else I'm in the works of or I questioned the same friend that I was just telling you guys about. He does uh, a lot of good on box building, and I don't want to buy a box per se. So I am thinking about, I'm thinking real hard about buying those, uh, they're called the Kraken. I don't remember if it's Dayton Audio that puts them out, but they're the 21-inch subs. So I'm thinking about getting four Krakens. And I think I got enough room behind the screen because these speakers are, you know, they're kind of narrow. And I had a plenty, it looked like I had plenty of room on each side of the uh, sub from the speakers. So I sit like I had plenty of room in there. So I'm, I'm thinking about putting four 21s behind the screen, four 21 inch Krakens. And really, <laughs> do, I, do I need that? No. Nope. Because I'm moving the 418s 
to the rear and I'm moving these subs to the living room. So that is in the works. I want to do that. <coughs> I probably would have went ahead and ordered my subs, but these come up. We worked it out and uh, I had to have these beauties. Now I just, I just cleaned them up real good. That's why they look a little shiny and stuff. And uh, man, I like them. So they don't stand out <laughs> as bad as the uh, as the cherry, and I understand that they did, but I think the black looks better. So uh, you know, I, I I like them. So we got that going on. Um, I did order two more acoustic panels, just like these, and I'm thinking I'm gonna put them in the rear somewhere around in here uh, on each side uh, in between the speaker and the cabinet here. Think about putting them there. Uh, I was thinking about buying some more and hanging them up above these, but I don't know yet. I'm, I'm, uh, I still ain't got my star signal up. I still ain't got my GoV lights up. Uh, I was gonna work on that today. I actually had the day off, had work yes. I was supposed to be off yesterday and today. We ended up having to work yesterday, but we were off today. <coughs> so uh, I'm also thinking about uh, covering this and this bottom in velvet. And I'm thinking about coming out and doing some kind of decorative, something with the velvet on the walls here to kind of just kind of make it look decorative. And I might even do some different parts, have some uh, decorative parts, make it look like a fox column with some some uh velvet on it but that's I'm, I'm still i'm still trying to figure out how i want to do that but definitely may put some up top and bottom and whatever on the side so that's kind of in the works too but uh really hadn't a whole lot else went on uh i'm also considering real soon to go ahead and order my emotiva uh, DR3. I was going to order it the other day and it was out of stock, but then it's right back in stock. So I'm probably going to get a DR3 and a, let's see, what do I need? A XPA6. So I'll get a six channel amp because I'm going to run these four speakers and probably these two because they're not, they don't need all the power as the front LCRs need because they only put out so much information at, some, at certain times. So I don't think it's real critical that, uh, <coughs> hey guys, over, overlook my co uh, coughing and stuff. I just vacuumed the floor and I think the dust has got me, uh, a little messed up here, but, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, these don't put out a whole lot of information from time to time. So I don't think it's, as critical to power them as much as I do my LCR. So, you know, a XPA6, I think it's 250, 250, 240, 260, somewhere around in there. So, I mean, it's, it'll be plenty. And I'm also on the search uh, for another pair of RTIA ones uh, that I already have and I have them in my living room and I'm gonna swap them out and I'm gonna put them in here. I'm going direct radiating. I'm gonna get away from the bipole, dipole speakers see how that works out and yeah i mean it's got it's got a lot of changes coming <coughs> just got to get the time to do it because it's been it's been tough here lately guys i still got to review all that stuff that, uh that company ai dot send me uh, i want to do a uh kind of a review on the couch and my thoughts of it i've had it for over a month now and i absolutely love this thing i can't tell you how many times i fell asleep in it <laughs> I mean, I wake up, I gotta be, I gotta be to work at six o'clock, uh, in the morning, five o'clock in the morning sometimes. And I can't tell you how many times I wake up at 12 <laughs> and be fell asleep in the theater. And it's very comfortable and I like it. So definitely want to do a review on it. It's hold, it seems to be holding up pretty good. And we'll talk about that in another video. So let's turn this camera right here and tie this thing up. So that's, that's my little video, guys, and uh, just kind of plugging along. Uh, just uh, real busy, real tired, and uh, but we are, we're getting there and uh, just still doing a little bit here and there. But hopefully soon we can get we can get caught up 
and get some things going. And uh, but we'll keep you guys updated. And I hope you have a good week coming up. And uh, we'll 